Alright, Roger here with the first video of 2023. I wanted to make it optimistic, but this one is titled We're Failing. And if you watch all the way through to the end, you're gonna see exactly why and how we gotta take action quickly because our window of opportunity is shrinking. I'm back here in Bali at the moment, and my question to you is what was your biggest achievement of last year and what do you want your biggest one to be this year? And maybe that might change by the time we get to the end of this video. For me, our biggest achievement last year was taking our company Genius Group to the New York Stock Exchange, having our IPO in a market where there were very few IPOs happening, and then completing on five different acquisitions. So on the one hand, things were really growing in the direction we wanted them to. On the other hand, now we're on Wall Street, and we have seen market manipulation in our shares, which has led us to now hire this guy, Wes Christian, who is famed for taking action against naked short sellers, which is illegal, and it's that people effectively are uh, selling fake shares in your business, and as a result, driving your price down. So I'm gonna be giving you more updates as we go forward, but that's part of what this video is about as well. Why is it that there are some people whose focus is on creation of new value and making a difference in the world, while others are focusing 100% at destruction or at basically just going out and making money at any cost. Like this is where we are failing. There is something that inspired me when I was first here in Bali, which is why I'm about to take you somewhere, which is something which was part of the inspiration for Genius Group itself. And uh, at that very beginning point, like 20 years ago when I came to Bali, I was with my kids who were much younger at that point. Uh, they ended up going to the green school, which was an inspiration to them. And from there, I became the chairman of the board. We basically saw how much education can make a huge difference to kids as they're growing old. And it made me think, well, I'm an entrepreneur. Anyone could learn how to be an entrepreneur or an investor. Why isn't there a curriculum system that would allow that to happen? And someone who had inspired me from an early age, his name was Buckminster Fuller. He's a futurist. And Buckminster Fuller said, way back in the 1970s, we are in the final exam. He said all the biggest challenges in the world, like the ones that we we're looking to solve for the environment at the Green School, or the ones we're now supporting with the Genius Group in terms of different purposes that people are following to make a difference to poverty, make a difference uh, to alleviation of the wealth gap. He said that all of these biggest challenges can be solved with technology. He said that they're all distribution challenges. So for example, when we say there's hunger, it doesn't mean there isn't enough food, there's food mountains, but they simply are not distributing that food effectively to everyone. Same thing happens with poverty. It's not like there isn't enough money. We've been printing money like crazy, but the issue is that we haven't been distributing it effectively. So he says, technology allows us to solve all those problems and we already have enough technology that they'd all be solved if it wasn't for one thing that stopped it from moving us forward, which is our own consciousness. He said that the issue with human consciousness is that if we're not collectively working together and we're competing with each other and we're in a zero sum game, then we're always gonna have that technology end up being in a position where it's either gonna be harnessed or it's gonna be destroyed. He says, this is the final exam. If we harness it, which means we accelerate our own consciousness through education, then we're gonna be in a position where we can then solve all the world's challenges. And we'll see this happen within just a very small frame of about three decades. That's, he said this back in the 1970s, so we're like running out of time right now. The opposite will also happen that if we don't harness that technology, it will keep accelerating until AI becomes so powerful, robotics becomes so powerful, we end up basically in a machine-driven world of evolution where human evolution gets left behind. Something called the singularity, where we basically end up with technology itself if we're not able to harness it, harnessing us, destroying humanity. And he said that's why it's called the final exam. There's no exam after this. And I remember when I heard that, I was so intent myself on seeing how can we shift the consciousness of those that actually want to shift to actually start working collectively together. Those were in those early days of entrepreneurship. And I realized that entrepreneurship itself is something that allows us to do this. So that's why we set up Genius Group. Genius Group comes from that quote, everyone is born a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it'll go through its whole life believing that it's stupid. So the idea that we should all have a personalized path that's right for us, that fits our passion, our purpose, our talents, uh, that allows us to be able to not be judged by what we're failing, but what we're actually succeeding in. And then from there, basically for each of us to be able to contribute in the most effective way through lifelong journey and through an entrepreneurial uh, education system. This is what Genius Group is all about. And so for us, this year is the year of the education revolution. We're bringing together all of our partners, our faculty, 
our community partners, our city leaders, our country leaders, and we're now growing our student population to the next level as we actually turn our education system into a fully accredited system together with the university that we've acquired, which is in California. So what I'm sharing with you right now is the fact that we are number one in a window of opportunity, where number two, we have to either choose, do we wanna be on the side of value creation or we're gonna be sitting on the side of value destruction, which means that our consciousness is growing or is it actually dropping? And number three, are we doing this collectively together where if you want to come work with us, then you can be one of our students, one of our partners, or even one of our investors and support what should be one of the best success stories of the year. Here I am now at Genius Cafe. I started Genius Cafe when I was here in Bali and look just how busy it is. This is where you can run your business from a laptop on the beach because everyone here has the opportunity to co-work, to co-learn, uh, and at the same time to eat, uh, to meet, uh, and to connect in the most incredible ways. And so what's so awesome is to be able to come back here and see that the dream is here, that it's alive, that everyone here that you're seeing uh, just enjoying the beautiful paradise that is Bali, that we are all here looking to take this same vision and be able to take it to anyone in the world, be able to live your life on your terms. So I want to say, hopefully you'll be following our journey as we go through this year, battling the rogue traders, uh, growing our student base, uh, attracting incredible faculty entrepreneurs from all over the world to be part of the cause as well. And I hope that you'll stay in tune uh, and be part of this journey with us as well. We'll see you on the next video.